Inside Northeast Racing is brought to you by the New York State Stock Car Association, Gene Cole's Utica Rome Speedway, RCT Roofing, the Rooftop Shuffler, Joel Mearns, Jack's Used Race Car Parts, and more, and our friends at Dirt Track Digest. Looking up, a new sponsor, Inside Northeast Racing, Jerry Higby. The Higby Fabrications has uh, jumped on to help those guys out. I'll tell you, if you haven't had a chance to catch the show, it's a good one, especially this past week. I'm on it. Welcome to this week's edition of Inside Northeast Racing, and welcome aboard HigFab Chassis, the latest addition to our family of sponsors. We start our coverage at Glen Ridge Motorsports Park. Here's Josh Phillips and Paul Small with the Sportsman feature, followed by the modified main event. Main event underway. Montgomery wins the drag race up into turns one and two, grabs the early advantage as the field fins through the back stretch into turn number three. Hancock and early second. Joslin closes in real fast and Tholen dive bombs with the Kalakasi move on the inside. Gets by Lussie and now is fighting for the number three spot in turn one. Rolling Mike Tholen, looking awful strong here tonight. First time back to the ridge in a little while. Looking awful good up there. Made a three-wide move last time off of turn number four. He's going to dive down to the inside. Nerf bar to Nerf bar with Ivan Jocelyn. Mortensen secret might be out as you see a couple guys getting up there on the top side seeing Mortensen make their way through. New race leader off of turn number four. Tholen up to the front as we are just past the halfway point. He's grabbed the race lead. Montgomery back to second. Mortensen now third. Well, in trouble for Tony for well with the 18-something wrong at the front end of that car. It's a... The white flag. Four more left-hand turns on the quarter mile and he will go to victory lane. He goes to the inside of turn number one and two. Last chance for Mortensen off of turn number two. Looks like he's not going to have enough. So here comes Ray. Mike Tholen is going to roll his way to victory lane in tonight's sportsman feature event as he takes the checker. Second spot will go to Mortensen. Hancock will finish third, followed closely by Ward Montgomery of the fifth, Orlando sixth. Listen. And that goes straight, popping the steering wheel. Oh, yeah, I'm taking the helmet off. He's got a big smile on his face. How about a hand from Roland Mike Tholen, tonight's sportsman feature winner. Feature event is lined up on the back stretch. Your starting lineup for this one, you'll have Lord Billington. Green means go off of turn number four as they race it down the front stretch. Reckner going to grab up to the race lead. Billington back to second as here comes Hanson and Varon knocking on the door. They come off of turn number two. And Hanson and Neely dive down the inside in turn number three and get by Billington for the number two spot. Varon trying to take his way through on the bottom here at the end of lap number one as he runs back and forth behind him. Jacobs in early fifth beat Russia by Big Block Bobby Veteran. There goes Varon to the inside of the 71 of Billington. He gets in a little sideways going into turn number three as Varon drives away in the number three spot. So side to go side by side with Bobby Venner. Reckner up on the top. Can get to the back bumper but can't quite get on by as he goes up to the outside. As Bobby Varon continues the battle with Craig Hansen. And here comes Varon down to the inside. Varon took a peek but got on the binders as Hansen slammed the door. Around the track, he'll cross underneath the white flag. So final lap around here for Elmo Reckner. Final lap for Barron to try to make a move on Hanson. And Barron is right there going into turn number one. Tries to cut to the inside of Hanson. A little bit of contact. It's uh, going to be Reckner with the win off turn number four. Here's your battle for second. Bobby Barron got to the inside on the back stretch off of turn number four. Going to keep Hanson behind him. Barron comes home in the runner up spot. Hanson falls back to third, fourth across the line will be the 71 of Floyd Billington running out your top five and final car on the lead lap, the 16 of Aaron Jacobs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, climbing out of the car, how about a big round of applause, Elmo Reckner. The New York State Stock Car Association weekly winners from Glen Ridge Motorsports Park are Kyle Klob, David Pope, Keith Tessero Sr., Roland Mike Tholen, and Elmo Reckner. Coming up this Friday, the king of the Catskills at the Accord Speedway. Speaking of Accord, let's check out this week's Spec Sportsman event 
From the Ulster County Bull Ring, here's Joel Mearns with the call. Hey, we get set to go back to Green Flag Racing. Here we come. At a turn number four, we got one lap in the books. We're going to try and get two this time by. Rich Rick in the third. Looks for the number one spot down the back straightaway. Lewis down to the inside. He's got the number one position, but not for long, because here comes Ed Dockenhausen up to the outside. Dockenhausen has found himself across the finish line a couple of times, but been light on the scales. He'll look for win number one here in 2013. He's down to the inside. Eddie D looks for the number one spot off of turn number four. Eddie D down the back straightaway, but they went three wide, and Boniface backed out of it pretty quickly. It looked as if the hole maybe started to close up. Here comes Rich Rick in the third down to the inside. Lynch and Davantoy get together off at turn number four, but they keep going in the right direction. Dubois now moves into spot number four. Dubois now in the number two spot. Boniface sits back there in spot number three, and here comes Rich Rick in the third, back in spot number four. That moves Rich Ricky into the number three spot. Sabia trying to regroup down the front straightaway right now on the inside of Joe Judge. Picking up the feature win. Let's see if he can hang on to it. And duck it out, Zed. Boniface is second. Ricky is third. Sabia fourth. And Joe Judge will round out the top five. Here we are, victory lane with Ed Dockenhausen. Ed, tremendous run tonight. I know. I've been thinking about this moment all year because we had it twice. It, it means a lot for me to be here tonight. I got to thank my cousin Pete for sticking behind me all year. I got to thank Scott and Don that have been behind me all year. And your new tires beat your old tires, okay? I did see when you pulled in that you told your mother you made weight. Yeah, we made weight by 100, almost 100 pounds. <laughs> well, there you go. A happy winner in our Lucas Oil victory lane at Dockenhausen. Now an interview with Accord Spec Sportsman Champion for 2013. Let's go back to the Rooftop Shuffler. The 2013 uh, Healy Brothers Group Spec Sportsman Track Champion. Now, you drove the car away, but you want to be surrounded by your family, and that's what you guys do. You guys go out week in and week out. You race all over the Northeast. This one here has got to feel pretty good, though. Championship here, 2013. Yeah, you know, we've had a great car all year, and uh, we've been real consistent, and that's what you need to get the championship. Let's talk about the uh, what the championship means to you guys, the Boniface family. Been around racing a long time. Of course, your dad, a former track champion down in Orange County. What's this mean to the entire Boniface team? Uh, you know, it means a lot. We've never uh, really been in the contention to do it, and uh, it feels good uh, for me and my dad to have a championship now. Well, there you have it. He picks up the Spec Sportsman Championship here at the Accord Speedway. I like to call him the Twister. It's Tyler Boniface. The next division to crown a champion at Accord this past Friday night was the Pro Stocks. Here's the feature and the champ with Joel Mearns. Number four, time to crown the champion! McCarthy down at the turn number one right now, hangs on to the number one spot, Wrong back there in spot number three. Ronk now looking for the number one position down into turn number one. McCarthy still up there in the number one spot. Ronk now moves into spot number two. If the checkered would have dropped right now, John Rose would pick up the championship right now. Ronk still hangs on to the number two spot down the back straightaway. McCarthy hanging on to the number one position. Ryan back there in spot number two. Bracklow sits third. Davey Demarest back there in spot number four. John Rose now in spot number five. Problems for Ryan. Oh, that's not good. Here he comes out of turn number four. It's the Arden. Nope, it's Ralph Rock back up to the number one spot. Rock now leads the way down the back straightaway as they work off at turn number four down the back stretch. Rock, your new race leader. We stay clean and green all around the speedway right now. The Ford Power number 28 car. Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. He's had many, many second place finishes here at the Speedway, but he's never actually picked up a track championship. Ralph Rock still up there in the number one spot. Checker flag set to fly. Here he comes at a turn number four. It'll go to Ralph Rock. McCarthy is second. Third is Bracklow. And fourth is John Rose. 
Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Your 2013 track champion for the first time in his career, the Ford Power ZMZ car number 28, John Rose. There's a great shot of John Rose inside Northeast Racing Videos. John, your 2013 Pro Stock track champion here at the Speedway. A couple of weeks ago, I asked you, you know, which, uh, how many championships have you had down here? And you said none. So this one's got to feel pretty darn good. Been a bridesmaid, never a bride. It's real good. Uh, last three years of being second kind of has gotten old, and we just had to improve on that, and it's great. It's great. Now let's talk about the consistency that you had throughout the 2013 season and all the great people behind you. You got to finish them first to finish first, and... I got my crew chief, Donnie, my motor tuner, Jim, who's not here, um, all my sponsors, my mother and father. I wouldn't be here without them, obviously. But uh, Just a great team behind you there. Now, let's talk about Ralph Ronk. Now, you go into tonight's racing action, knowing that you got to stay as close as you can to him. He takes over the number one spot. You were still back there in the pack just a little bit. What was going through your mind? He did what he needed to do, and I did what I needed to do, and it was close because I had a right rear going down at the end. I'll tell you what, nonetheless, you come home with a track championship, and uh, nobody deserves it more than you, John. I've watched you up here many, many years, and uh, congratulations. Thank you very much, Joel. I'm happy to be here. Well, there you have it. He's your 2013 Pro Stock track champion right here at the Accord Speedway, John Rose. We're going to go over with a very happy Ralph Rock Scooter. Take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, down here in the Lucas Oil Victory Lane, Ralph Rock, your pro stock winner. Ralph, good run. Won the battle, lost the war. <laughs> yeah, it was great. You know, we thought about locking him in the porta potty tonight, but uh, we didn't get around to it. So he got the points, but we got the win. You had a pretty consistent year, though. You got to admit, you guys ran a tough camp campaign all throughout. Oh, yeah, it was fun racing with him all year. A lot of clean racing. Hopefully next year. All right, there's got to be a few people you want to thank for this season here. Yeah, I'd like to thank my dad, my brother Matt for working on the car, my wife, uh, Catskill Mountain Overhead Doors, Gary's Truck and Trailer Repair, and a &K Trucking. Fantastic. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner of the Pro Stock Race, Ralph Ronk. Back to you, Dan. Thanks, Scooter. Check out the 2013 Accord Track Champions video on YouTube. Here's Joel Burns. <laughs> we got trouble. Nice move down the back stretch. We got trouble. We got trouble. On the outside, he'll look for the number four spot. Boniface in trouble. Oh, he's gonna go around. That's not good. We got trouble. Here he. Oh, big trouble. We got trouble, and they go around. Not good. Problems on the front straightaway. Tommy Johnson in trouble. Chris Lynch is stuck on Tommy Johnson's bumper. <laughs> Our final bit of Accord coverage will be of the headline division. Here's the rooftop shuffler with this week's main event and newest modified champion. Set to go green flag racing. Watch them as they work over turn number four. Here they come at a turn number four. Hetzler up to the number one spot. Problems for the Iceman, Dominic Roselli. We we're going to see the yellow lights. We get set to go green flag racing. Quickly off a of turn number four down there in turn number one right now. Roselli shuts it down here on the front straightaway. 
McKetty back there in spot number two. Hetzler sits in spot. Well, actually, McKetty is your race leader. Hetzler sits in spot number two right now. Rich Ricky back there in spot number three. Here comes Tommy Meyer down to the inside, and a great save by Ferrier off a turn. Hinch now almost bounced off the boilerplate. Higby gets by the Hudson Service number 97 car. Top five. Sits so about spot number seven, six. That was right. It's seven. Higby doing a great job down at the inside line. He's out of Newburgh, New York. And Higby Fabrications owner and operator down the back straight away. Great new sponsor here for the Inside Northeast Racing. The leaders are now starting to come through. We are past the halfway point of this feature event. Now Hetzler starting to come alive down to the inside. Watch as he works the inside line. Jeff Hetzer out of Walk Hill, New York, looks for the number one spot down the front straightaway. McKetty letting it roll in on the top right now. The car may be starting to go away from him a little bit. Here comes Hetzler down to the inside. Hetzler still working that inside line down the back stretch. It's still McKetty up there in the number one spot. Here comes Hetzler down to the inside. Meyer sits back in spot number three. Ricky is fourth. Now your new race leader, it's the Jeffer, Jeff Hetzler. McKetty settles back in a spot number two right now with Meyer back in spot number three. Hetzler and problems for McKetty. He breaks right here on the front straightaway. Checker flag flies. I believe for the third time in 2013, the wing goes to Jeff Hetzler. Second is Meyer, third is Ricky, fourth is Anthony Brago rounding out the top five will be Jackie Brown Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2013 track champion goes to the Dax Hughes Race Car Parts, car number 6X, Jackie Brown Jr. Standing down here right now with uh, Jackie Brown Jr. with uh, the 2013 modified track champion here at the Accord Speedway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could definitely say they're. Uh, yeah, they're happy about it. <laughs> As Johnny McGill says, I, I just got a tra hair transplant there. Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> yeah. Nobody light a cigarette now. <laughs> yeah, I think I think pink works for us bald guys down here, right? Eh? Well, that was fun. <laughs> so. Jack, you, uh, you pretty much clinched the title last week. You started off the season by saying that, uh, you know what, we're we're not going to race for the championship. We just want wins. What's this mean to you guys and your entire family? I just saw the little one over there. This has got to be a, a great feeling. This is uh, 25 years in the making. I started racing at the wrong time. You know, I, I started racing when there was 50 cars showing up and a 20-car Concy, and I was racing against Brett and Danny, Mike, Rich, McKee, you know, the guys that made the sport, and uh, I learned a lot racing against those guys, and for me to be able to get this tonight, it means a lot, you know, because I finally got to where I'm one of them now, you know, and it feels good. We put everything we have, we're there five nights a week, and I got to thank my guys, they're there with us, you know, Billy Acabellas, Billy Goldpaw, Don Boonstra, my girlfriend Jenny, the baby, because he's just awesome. Uh, especially my mom and dad they've put up with a bunch of crap over the years and they let me use a lot of their space to do what i got to do and uh i can't thank them all enough well there you have it he is one of the elite drivers here in the northeast ladies and gentlemen your 2013 track champion from the accord speedway jackie brown a big congratulations from all of us here at northeast racing to jackie brown jr on his first ever track championship the weekly winners Presented by the New York State Stock Car Association from the Accord Speedway are Ed Dockenhausen, Ralph Ronk, Sean Maloney, Nick Johnson, Jeff Hetzler, and Kevin Ward. At Orange County Fair Speedway, the NISCA weekly winners were Debbie Shortway, Emerson Cargain, Del Ligori, Ray C. Mike Ruggiero, and Tyler Dipple. 
Now it's time for RCT Roofing's presentation of the Pro Stock feature from the Fonda Speedway. Danny Wood, Randy Kosselman, and the rest of the guys ready to go green off at turn number four. They charge it down the front stretch into turn number one. 20 laps the distance. Broderson Gates, two of the best, right there in the front row as they charge off at turn number two, side by side down the back stretch for the race lead. Dog fight early in this one with Ivan Johnson sitting right back there and told three wide into turn number three. Kenny Martin way down on the inside as he's trying to work his way up through the field right now. And he comes off a turn number four side by side for the race lead right down to the stripe. Broderson going to edge out Kenny Gates. That's the slimmest of margins. Here comes Ivan Jocelyn. Jocelyn wants to get his hat into the mix as well. And Gates with a good runoff at turn number two down the back stretch. They race it into turn number three through four. Got one a little bit out of shape on the back stretch. Looked to be the 89 of Don Kennedy, but able to keep it going clean, green, straight, A OK. -okay. Off at of turn number four, they charge. Now Gates, the race leader. So he swings it off at of turn number four. This time by, he will see the white flags. So one to go for your race leader, Gates. Barring any problems, he's got this one all but wrapped up. Just wants to add the bow, and here comes Broderson as he finally crosses the stripe and Joslin. Then he got Stone and Casey for fourth and fifth. Sixth is Brownell, and here comes Joslin. Dennis Bobbles this time. That allows Normoyle to get up to the outside. One more time off of turn number two. Goes Dennis Joslin as your race leader. Now winner checkers out. Kenny Gates picking up the win. Second Get the name right. Last time I was saying Doug Hoffman, Doug Hoffman, Doug Hoffman. It is Todd Hoffman. Todd Hoffman. All right, give a round of applause. Kenny Gates takes home the Pro Stock feature win here tonight. The all-time Pro Stock feature winner here now. Beating Todd Hoffman. Dude, you are the all-time Pro Stock feature winner here now. Wow, uh, that's awesome. Thanks, everybody, for helping me get it. I can't believe it. I, I really can't. Staying at the Fonda Speedway, the CRSA Sprint Cars were on hand for the third leg of the Kennedy's Towing Northway 90 Series. Let's go back to Josh Phillips for the call. Will be Warren Alex and is outside. It'll be the 12th tee of Tyler Chartran. 19th starting spot in the 5X of Bob Gray. And is outside. It'll be Art Kaiser. You see them rolling down the front stretch. They salute you four wide. And starting scratch on the grid, the number 61 of Parker. Aaron Van Steenberg getting ready to go green off of turn number four. They charge down the front stretch, down into turn number one. Van Steenberg working the outside in the number one machine as he works up the outside, grabs the race lead. Here comes Danny Varon right back down to the inside. They race it side by side all the way down the back stretch into turn number three and four. Varon just hopped out of the modified, now into the sprint car. Might be a little bit tired. But the DTI number one of Van Steenberg going to grab the number one position. Varon in tow right now. But Scott Goodrich in third. Warren Alexson right now rides in the number four spot as they charge it down the back stretch. As they come off of turn number four, scratch that, make that Josh Penizic there in the number four spot with Corey Sparks fifth. And Danny Barron's now stuck down to the inside to grab the number one spot. Might have been caught sleeping here early in this one, but he jumps back up the high side in turn number three and off of turn four. Penizic right now battle between Goodrich and Penizic as they pump here on the front stretch. Penizic able to get by to grab the number three spot. Once again, Goodrich back to the number four position. Fifth right now rides Corey Sparks as they charge it down the back stretch. Danny Varon up on the top shelf where Grandma likes to hide the cookies. Off a turn four, checker is out. Danny Varon picking up the win. Jeff Van Steenberg is going to cross in that number two position. The race for third going to go right down the line. Corey Sparks is going to maintain that spot over Josh Penizic, who comes home fourth. Fifth is Scott Goodwin. Give a round of applause, everyone. Danny Varon going to climb up here on the wing. He takes home the CRSA Sprint Car Feature Win. It was Dave Lape Tribute Night at the Track of Champions. Here is the modified main event from Fonda Speedway and the legendary Jim King with the call of the race. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, David Lape. One last time in the 22. It's number 22 as he goes down to turn number one. Sold the field one more time by, bringing him down off the turn. Dave Lape, 
the ceremonial trip at the front of the class. And now they will move up alongside Ronnie Johnson moving up to uh, give a thumbs up to David Lape as they make their way down off the turn. And the field will now come by us. We'll see a white flag about one more lap from now. One last time as David Lape goes by with the MBT Bank Rainmaker, Riley Mortuary number 22. David dropping down to the inside, everybody. It's time to go racing, modified style here at the Fonda Speedway. Remember, one last weekend of racing coming up next weekend, right back here at the Track of Champions for action on Saturday and on Sunday. Josh will brief you on that in a little bit. A.J. Romano rides alongside David Leif and gives him a high sign as he goes by down the back stretch. Matty D thumbs up as he goes by and David dropping back towards the back. Very tough front row. Jeremy Wilder on the inside with that yellow number 24 and Ronnie Johnson right alongside of him. RJ swings it out to the outside. A.J. Romano stalking right behind Ronnie Johnson. He'd love Johnson to get a good start. Here we go. Green is out on the speedway. And down in the bottom, Ryan Odaz takes it into the turn, but Ronnie Johnson goes bonsaiing around the outside. Here comes A.J. Romano. Romano with a rush as he drives in, and Jimmy Davis in the 41. Right now rides. Oh, look out, turn number three. Oh, hang on, everybody. And everybody got by. One car. Going slow, oh, one guy turned around. Uh, once again, about a car length on Davis. Now, I don't know if Johnson is going too fast or Davis, and Davis is going to lead him by the first time. Jimmy Davis got inside of Johnson, and it didn't matter. Ronnie Johnson coming on the outside. On the high side, A.J. Romano with Danny Barron down in the bottom, and Davis does take the lead. Jimmy Davis now in front. Johnson with a slingshot move on the outside, and R.K. is on the way as he goes by to grab the lead, going down to turn number one. Take the way down between three and four. Davis going by. Barron, Rockefeller, and Matt DiLorenzo. And DiLorenzo now has taken the BBL entry to the bottom of the racetrack. Rock and left traffic. DiLorenzo inside of Barron. Barron high side. DiLorenzo low side going up into three. Darwin Green back in that fourth spot. Elmo coming fast, and here comes Matty D. Matty DiLorenzo down on the bottom, 25 down, as the field goes to turn goal. Now working on Gleason as they come off the turn. Danny Varon up top, Matty D on the bottom, Matt DiLorenzo has now gone by, and boy, wouldn't he like a yellow right now. Matty D is quickly reeling in Ronnie Johnson. Johnson dives down low. DiLorenzo is right on his back. Ronnie Johnson is on it. Matty DiLorenzo has driven by Ronnie Johnson going up into turn number three. Checkered flag is up. Matty DiLorenzo gets the win. Ronnie Johnson second. Danny Varon third. Darwin Green fourth. Elmo Reckner fifth. A great modified feature on Dave Lape tribute night. Dave Lape heading back to the pits for what is probably the last time that he'll turn a wheel on the Fonda Speedway. Ladies and gentlemen, Matty DiLorenzo. Matty, that was incredible, but you know, let's be real now. You've won every Coastal Cup that's been presented at Fonda. Next time, I'm getting a commission. <laughs> But in the meantime, we're going to get a real pretty photograph here because Jackie Lape's going to present the cup. All right, as Jackie Lape presents him with his cup here for the Coastal 181 Cup. As I the weekly winners at the Fonda Speedway presented by the New York State Stock Car Association are Pete Villa, Kenny Hollenbeck, Barney Waldron, Reuben Kennedy Jr., Kenny Gates, Matt DiLorenzo, Danny Varon, and Mark Mortensen. Also, here is Niska Hall of Famer John Grady presenting Dave Constantino with the Sandra Grady Memorial Perseverance Award. 
All of us here at Inside Northeast Racing would like to congratulate Dave Lape on a stellar 50-year career. Dave shown here with Senator Kathy Corey Marchione receiving his special proclamation this past Saturday night. Inside Northeast Racing is sponsored by the New York State Stock Car Association, Gene Cole's Utica Rome Speedway, Jack's Hughes Race Car Parts and More, Hig Fab Chassis, RCT Roofing, Joel Mearns, and our friends at Dirt Track Digest. Official track video provided by Bobco Video and Northeast Racing Videos. That's it for this segment of Inside Northeast Racing. For all of us involved with this week's program, this is Dan Martin saying thanks for watching and see you again next time. Racing is a Northeast Racing Videos production. Ta-da! <laughs>